Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to fix error 0xc 1900204. Now this is a Windows update error when you're trying to update to Windows 10 version 2004 and you've received that error message. I want to show you a bunch of things that you can try to rectify this problem. There's quite a few different problems that cause this error and let's go through some of these in this video. In no particular order, I'm just going to show you a bunch of things that you can try here. Okay, so the first one we're going to go for is the uh, Windows troubleshooting tool to troubleshoot Windows updates. So go to your start button here and open up settings. Once settings opens, we're going to go to update and security. Click on there. And basically what you want to do here is go over to the left hand side and you should see troubleshoot. Click on troubleshoot. And then what you want to do once you click on troubleshoot is look for Windows Update. So you should see Windows Update there and run this troubleshooting tool. And that's it. Just let that run and see whether that rectifies the problem for you. Make sure that you disable your antivirus program as well uh, while trying to update uh, to the latest version of Windows 10. This can cause a few problems sometimes for some types of uh, security software. So just always uh, disable that while you're trying to update. Okay, so let's move on to the next one here. We're going to copy this code into Notepad here. I'll leave this in the video description for you. All this is going to do is stop some services temporarily and then rename the software distribution and also the cat root 2 folder and then obviously restart those services. What that means is is it will uh, remove all of the files from those folders and these are sometimes updated files that get downloaded. So I'm just going to call it whatever you like, whatever you want to call yours, you can call it that and call it .bat at the end of it. All files and then save it to your desktop. Once you've got that saved to your desktop, this will save you having to type all this out one by one. You should now see the batch file on there. Right click and run as administrator. And basically that will run and stop a bunch of services temporarily. Rename those two folders and then restart those services for you. So if there's any sort of remnants of update files inside those folders that are causing a problem, it will uh, remove those from the equation so you can then try to update from there what we're going to do now is run our command prompt by typing cmd in the search box and run that as administrator then type sfc space forward slash scan now just like you see here and then press enter and what this will do is scan your system for any corrupt operating system files and rectify those so you can then continue with the update process this might take a bit of time, so be patient and let it run a scan on your system and it will verify those files. Next up, we can try the dism command, which is the dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup and then dash image and then space forward slash and then restore health and run this one. And then you can try to run your Windows update again and see if that rectifies the problem. Now you could leave this one till the end if you wish. If you want to do that, you can do. This does take a bit of time, but sometimes this can uh, resolve a lot of problems as well. So we'll let that run. Now next up, you can go to the Microsoft website and uh, do an in-place update here uh, by clicking on the update now. And this will take you to the little file here, which you can download, which is the update assistant. And basically it will try to update your system. It will scan your system and basically let you update from here just in case there's some sort of problem. You can see it's saying, do you want to update to the latest version of Windows 10? Now I get a lot of people getting confused with updates of features and updates of security updates. You really don't want to stop security updates. They're not the same as big feature updates like Windows 10 2004. So if you want to delay those, that's OK, but you should never delay security updates. Hope that clears that one up. So let's move on to the next one, which is having no space on your hard drive. I see this quite a lot. People have got a very full hard drive. And when you try to roll out an update, there's no space left on the drive. 
for you to uh, run an update and it will just fail and you might get a different error code for that one so just make sure you've got plenty of space on the drive for the upgrade to go through okay so let's open up the registry editor by typing reg edit in the search box here and you can go to this location that you see on the screen now what this error code causes is when you're using two different types of language so maybe you're bilingual and you use for instance english and you're using say german or russian or chinese or whatever it is as your secondary language and that is now installed and you're trying to run it while you're on your secondary language instead of your default language this can cause a problem and sometimes by having it on your secondary language instead of your default language which will be english in this case then you will sometimes get this error code so just make sure that you are running the language 0409 and that is the default install language of english united states you want to make sure that is on there and uh, it, hopefully that will resolve your problem i've not seen that problem but apparently it is a problem for some people so next up we're going to go to settings here and we're going to go to language and just check inside here just to make sure if you don't know where to check you can also check in here and go to language and what you want to make sure is you are set to that language there you can see preferred languages here and there's some languages down here you can add a language and put english in and you can also do what is your display language here as well and make sure it's set to that and hopefully that does resolve your problems if that is what you're having an issue with okay next up i've seen this error before and this is when people change the path for their program files and they basically change it to another uh, location so program files dir is where we need to check so we're just going to check that path here I'll leave it up on the screen here so you can see it and then basically you need to navigate to that location and then look for program files dir on the right hand side here and this is your program files directory and you need to make sure that that is set to the default which is c colon backslash program files and also you can see program files dir again and that is c colon backslash program files space uh, bracket x86 bracket and that's what you need to make sure they are set to if you look on here you can see them set here if they're set to a different drive that can be where the problem lies so you want to make sure they are set to that location there and hopefully that will resolve your problem i know some people have got running out of space on a c drive and they change the path to another drive and that can sometimes cause a problem next up you want to download the media creation tool from microsoft themselves you can go there and download this tool and it will say download now this will obviously open up like you can see here except to their terms and conditions you will get a few things ready and then you should see upgrade this pc now leave the radio button in there and then click next and what that will do is it will go ahead and download the very latest version of windows 10 from the microsoft server and start to install that onto the system and upgrade it so that is another way you can go about doing that you can also get the download from the microsoft update catalog you can put in the kb file name here and basically you'll be able to download this and install it but by now i reckon you would have found a way to resolve this problem by following some of these fixes and hopefully you'll be able to get the latest version of windows 10. hope this one helps you out my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.